Hey everyone, Will here with my uh, flea market finds for March 23rd, 2014. I uh, got some really good stuff to show you this week. Uh, the, the quantity may not be there like it was in the uh, past couple weeks, but uh, the quality is definitely there. Some really good quality things. Uh, some high price things uh, should bring some good money. Um, let me show you what I got. Uh, first up. We have some uh, drafting uh, sets. These have always done uh, well for me. Even though they're really old, uh, they always do well. Even with that one missing a couple pieces, uh, these others um, should, do, uh, should do pretty good with them. It uh, was uh, 17 for everything there. And... Uh, probably end up getting about 50 for uh, everything there. Uh, the books I took a chance on. It was $10 for uh, uh, for 10 books. Uh, usually don't buy books, but uh, what got me was every book is different and everyone has a... Uh, this edition is limited to 1,000 copies for England and America, of which this is number 804. Uh, everyone's different and uh, just took a chance there's number 556 and that is uh, the profit cousin uh, so all different books a dollar a book took a chance uh, this lighthouse is pretty neat this thing weighs uh, it is super heavy uh, it's like 20-25 uh, pounds there. Uh, the guy said it was copper. I think it's brass with like a copper wash. Um, so he said uh, it's like uh, $45 in, uh, in scrap there. Uh, so he sold it to me for 50 I think to a lighthouse collector, uh, the top comes off of this. There it is. To a lighthouse collector, I think this could be um, uh, probably over a hundred dollars uh, that I'm going to get for that. Uh, shipping's going to be super high, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Love the uh, patina on the wood on this uh, tobacco humidor. I've seen a lot of use over the years. Um, that was 10. A little uh, mercury jug stoneware. Uh, first one of these I've ever had. Got some age to it. Nothing uh, inside of it anymore. Uh, but I got that for 10. The old time German, uh, I guess uh, you call it Flow Blue uh, salt box. Got a uh, Made in Germany mark on the bottom there. And that one was 25. Got a riding crop, uh, which what. I assume is uh, sterling silver on the uh, on the end here. Got a little ding, but uh, looks like it's got some age to it. And that was uh, 15. Couple medals from uh, USF and G uh, Insurance. Um, that one's pretty neat looking. Uh, they were uh, 20 for the pair. A uh, Pan Am ashtray. Uh, that was uh, 3 bucks. This is pretty neat. I've never seen anything like this. This is uh, porcelain over steel. Uh, just a very odd piece. I uh, got the silhouettes there. I uh, spent 15 on this. Uh, just because I've never seen one before and I didn't want to pass it up, I hate to spend 15 But uh, very unusual looking. Um, 
I don't even know what to call this, uh, so we'll uh, have to do a little research. Uh, moving on, we have a uh, really well done piece of uh, Royal uh, Dalton. Uh, always do well with this. She's in perfect condition with no chips. Um, not sure what she'll bring. Uh, she was uh, $20. Another piece of uh, Royal Dalton. Long John Silver. And uh, should appeal to the uh, Royal Dalton collectors and the uh, Pirate fans out there. He was 10. Badger Meter. Don't know what Badger Meter is, but uh, um, neat little uh, box there. That was uh, 15. A little uh, German sugar and creamer. Mark Germany. Not sure who the uh, people are. Uh, they were 10. Uh, big old school bell. Nice wooden handle. Uh, that was 20. Pepsi glass for five bucks. Uh, it's neat that it shows how much syrup to put in before you put the uh, uh, the water in. Uh, thought that was different. Belt buckle. Not sure what it is. Um, guessing it's military. Uh, guessing uh, Turkish because the uh, crescent moon and star. Uh, could be wrong about that. Uh, but that was uh, five bucks. A uh, really well done uh, piece of glassware. A uh, uh, kind of hard to see, but uh, the bird is very, uh, very el well etched into the glass. It has a signature down here too, but. Uh, can't really can't really make out what it says um, but uh, took a chance on it for seven bucks I'm gonna have to try to figure out what that says underneath there this is probably one of my favorite pieces of the uh, of the day piece of a uh, trench art this is a fuse to a uh, artillery shell you can set the uh, timer to do uh, they would set the timer if they wanted to uh, detonate the shell in the air. Good for guys uh, that's, well, not too good for guys that are in trenches. Uh, really neat wooden base it's been attached to. And, uh, you know, it almost makes me wonder if somebody had that as part of their uh, stairway. Or it was probably sitting on a desk. I paid 45 for this. I'm tempted to keep it for myself. Um, and hopefully eBay won't give me any trouble about selling it uh, but I think that will be over a hundred dollars uh, I would say for that little Borden's milk can five bucks a uh, Qantas International it's a bell At, uh, I guess uh, for meetings or whatever really uh, really well made heavy the bronze craft foundry um, should appeal to uh, bell collectors and uh, Qantas collectors that was 40 uh, WC Fields McCoy cookie jar uh, perfect condition he was 50 and uh, she should bring about a uh, hundred dollars for that uh, back here a, a knife set this is a uh, Kershaw 
you got the uh, knife handle here and uh, all the different blades you got one two three four five six different blades with it uh, for one knife uh, that was 15 I thought this hat was pretty cool uh, definitely been around a while Mark Staff and inside here it says made in USA by Philadelphia Rapid Transit so uh, don't know if it's Philadelphia Rapid Transit but uh, I love the look of that it's been around a while now these two I bought together and uh, they weren't cheap I, I spent a hundred dollars for the pair of them but uh, this is a nice old um, commander hat CDR Gromley CDR I guess that's commander um, that should probably help date it as uh, is Bancroft mil military caps over 50 years um, should uh, it's in pretty good shape needs a little cleaning uh, but uh, uh, really well made I like the uh, the bullion uh, sewing on there uh, so clean it up a little bit and do a little research this was really a nice piece uh, it's a, uh, a top hat uh, made it with a uh, beaver skin feels really neat uh, inside is marked extra quality Knox New York Albert Sigmund and son Baltimore and this thing's definitely been around a while and uh, needs a little cleaning itself nothing too overboard um, Definitely seen better days, but uh, I know top hats from like the 1800s, even in this condition, can bring up to $200 right around there. So uh, hopefully um, that'll be one of them. Uh, moving on. Got a uh, panda. Everybody loves pandas. This was part of a... Uh, circus or a pool, do pool toy or something get the uh, hard rubber wheels seen a lot of use uh, he was ten dollars made out of uh, paper mache uh, a couple yearbooks uh, from 1940s uh, they were uh, six dollars a piece Abbott's ice cream three dollars might do well. Uh, signed Boba Fett picture for three dollars. Don't know how well that's going to do since it's uh, personalized. Took a chance on it for three bucks. Uh, this is pretty neat. Don't know how it works, but it's a uh, card shuffler. Uh, put a couple uh, decks of cards in there, and uh, there you go. Uh, Arco playing card shuffler. Put them in there and turn a dial. Eight bucks. Took a chance on it. Uh, I'd like to try to figure out how it, how it goes. Uh, this. This was a BB gun that I picked up for a buck. Now the gun was totally shot. Uh, it was uh, broken and uh, didn't work anymore. It had uh, uh, just almost totally useless. The guy said, well, maybe somebody could use it as a toy. Well, I took it home and uh, took the stock off of it. Got the fore end here. There's uh, um, everything there. So I'm going to sell the, uh, the stock set here, put like 20 bucks on it. Somebody out there has this gun this daisy air rifle um, and I bet they need a stock for it and I think uh, uh, I got that'll do it for them uh, so we'll see how that goes uh, Ringling Brothers uh, circus poster pretty neat 
uh, made of uh, cardboard that was uh, seven this is different a uh, I don't know what kind of game you would call it but you drop like a penny in here with like a plinko thing and if it landed down here uh, you want a prize uh, that was 25 got some magic stuff uh, really like this lot um, don't see uh, magic stuff very often especially old magic stuff here's a old I don't even know how to do it but it's uh, like a thing of handkerchiefs in there and I, I don't know but uh, old 10 and uh, 20 bucks uh, this magician here got a bunch of uh, not very old from the 1980s uh, but uh, got some autographs in there eight bucks another program for eight dollars this is a uh, Blackstone uh, souvenir program um, just goes over different tricks and uh, pretty neat and this could be a real sleeper right here uh, these will be very hard to show you but it's uh, a whole box of little glass slides but see if I can uh, this is um, how to do magic like this shows how to do the uh, levitating woman um, and it's all mostly magic slides in there um, I don't know where it's, uh, it's all different things in here. You need a, uh, let's see, there it is. I guess that's, uh, the harness they put on, but, uh, all different things about magic. Uh, for 38 of them, pay $20. Not sure if I'm going to sell them individually. I got one with a levitating woman. Uh, that might be a good one to sell uh, by itself. Uh, we'll have to see. And uh, last piece to show you for today. Uh, got a brass bed for $10. Uh, it's kind of beat. But the last uh, bed I had, um, I uh, scrapped it and got a uh, hundred and... Uh, $19 for it. Uh, this one isn't as big. It's not as much brass, but uh, I think uh, could be about uh, $70 worth here. Uh, so just have to go through and take it apart, get rid of these porcelain pieces, and uh, go from there. Uh, well, there you go. Like I said, not as much quantity as I usually have, but some good quality. Really good quality stuff. Uh, so we'll get this listed in the eBay store, Terminal 99, and uh, keep an eye on it because that's where it'll be appearing over the next uh, uh, few days. So until next time, it's Will the Art Sales Fivalist, and we'll talk again soon.